Hi guys, Jengro here. Minecraft 1.21 just came out like yesterday as I'm recording this. And a new version of Minecraft for us modded players usually means we have to wait before we can play with some mods. But to get shaders, that is not necessary. Here I am in 121 with shaders running. The Iris mod, which is what's needed to run shaders, is already ported to 1.21. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to get shaders running. If you've never run them before, it's game changing and it is so easy. So stick around. I do want to take just a minute to thank our sponsor for this video, Apex Hosting. If you want to play Minecraft with your friends, check out Apex. They've got high performing servers, you can run Java, Bedrock, modded plugins. They've got amazing support and you can be up and running in five minutes or less. Right now to celebrate the Tricky Trials update, there is a 30% off. All you have to do is go to Apex, use the link jangro.com slash Apex, click on get started, choose your server, Pick the version of Minecraft you want to play, play all there is to it. You can be up and running in no time. All right, now let's get started with three ways to install shaders on Minecraft 1.21. All right, the first method we're going to use is to install Iris shaders directly. Now, I'll start by saying I don't recommend this method. Watch me do it and then watch the other ones. And I think you'll agree. I mean, this is easy, but it's very manual and it's not very extensible, meaning you can't easily add more mods on top of this if you want to. But if you just want to get Iris going with shaders, this works perfectly fine. So we're going to go to this website, click download universal jar. That's going to end up in your downloads folder, which I have right here. Just double click on Iris installer, and that's going to open up a window. Pick your game version. We're on 1.21 right now. It might be 1.21.2 by the time you're watching this. Just install the latest one. And while Iris needs fabric, this option will install fabric. I'm not sure what the difference is here. Just do this one that's selected by default. It's going to select your default Minecraft directory and you just click install. There we go. We're done. Now we open up the Minecraft launcher and we should see down here in the instances, this iris and sodium option selected. Just click play. I should say that you do want to run Minecraft 1.21 once before you run that installer, just to make sure all the directories and things are in place. After a while, the loader window will start up. It does take quite a bit longer than vanilla does. So just be patient. Even though it looks like nothing's happening, there is something happening. You can see here we have now modded Minecraft fabric installed here. First, we just go into options, video settings, shader packs is where you want to go. We don't have any shaders here, so we can do this one of two ways. We can open the shader pack folder by clicking this button, or we can drag and drop shaders straight in here. Complimentary reimagined is my favorite, so I'm going to load this in here, but we can just drag in as many as we want. I'll show you later in the video where to get these shaders if you're downloading them manually. And I'm going to show you what they all are. So stick around for the end. We'll get a good look at all these different shaders. So we just click to make sure that's enabled. We pick the shader that we want. Click apply. Done, done, done back out here. Create a new world. You don't have one already. And here we go. We've got shaders running. See the, the leaves are waving. Graphics look smoother, much nicer graphics. We can change shaders right here within the game, video settings, shader packs, and we can pick pastel shaders. Click apply. You can see the change kind of happens back here. There we go. This is a different shader pack. You can see the sun is it's still square, but it's tilted. Let's get some different colors and lighting with this shader. And that's it. Simple as that. I'll show you again later in the video how to download all these different shader packs. The next method for installing shaders is using CurseForge. CurseForge is one of many different mod loading software packages. This is the most popular, so I'm going to demonstrate in this one. I'm also going to demonstrate in another one, which is, in my opinion, much better to use than CurseForge. People love to hate CurseForge, but it works. So go to curseforge.com slash download slash app. I'll put all the links in the description, and I've got a blog post that goes through this all this stuff step by step, which I'll link to as well. Just click download on Overwolf, run it, install it, it's going to go through a process. When it is done, you're going to end up with First Forge app right here. You can mod many different games with this. So choose Minecraft on the main menu. I have a whole ton of mod packs in here. All the work and videos and game playing that I've done. In this case, we're just going to make a new profile. These are called profiles with Iris. So if we just search for Iris up here, Iris Shaders is this first mod that we found. Don't click install click in here somewhere because what we want to do is look at the versions and we're looking to install 1.21 which is third in the list if we just clicked install up here it would pick the top one in the list we're going to click this install button right over here it's then going to ask what profile we want to install it in we're going to make a new profile call this 1.21 with shaders just click quickly verify here that you've got the right version of minecraft click 
create. And it's going to quickly install a few different mods, the Fabric API, Iris Shaders, and Sodium, which Iris Shaders requires Sodium to run. So it installed that automatically. So that's pretty cool. So now instead of drag loading Minecraft, dragging things in directly, we can use this add more content button to find shaders. Right here, we can install complementary reimagined. And let's just install a bunch of these. So we're going to look at them all eventually. See how quick this is. Now this is a subset of all the shaders that are available, which we'll see later when I when we take a look at where to download them. But it's a pretty good set. There's some notable missing ones here. It's a pretty good sample. And my favorites are here, complementary and BSL. At this point, click the X. Now you can see here we've got all these shaders loaded. We just click play. Now what this is going to do is run the Minecraft launcher and it just kind of does some voodoo magic behind the scenes and sets up the launcher with these mods installed in an instance. So you can see here, we've got this 1.21 shaders instance listed here. I don't know why it's up here and not down the bottom. Maybe if I click here, yeah, there it is. Just a different view. Play. The thing about CurseForge is that it uses the Minecraft launcher. The next example we are going to look at doesn't. Again, it's going to take a little while to load up Minecraft. Let's do this in a world. So let's create a new world. Could have done the next step and that main menu. But here we are in our world. Nice. There's some water, which is great for looking at shaders. So now we hit escape, options, video settings, shader packs. And you can see we have all the shaders that we installed with CurseForge. Apply and see it change. This is BSL, really, really pretty shader pack. Next, we're going to do the same thing with the Prism Launcher, which is just like CurseForge, much cleaner, in my opinion, much easier to use. And it doesn't use the Minecraft Launcher, it just launches Minecraft directly. So download it, install it, and run it, and it looks just like this. Got a few instances here already. So this process is a little bit different. We don't start with the mod, we start with the version of Minecraft that we want to install. So we're going to add an instance. And right here, we tell it we want a Fabric 1.21, the latest version of the Fabric mod loader. We can change the name right here. And that's it. We just hit OK. And now we have an instance right here. We just double click on it or click Launch over here. But before we do, we click Edit. So we get this edit window for our instance right here. We're essentially, we're creating our own mod pack, honestly. Click shader packs right here, download shaders. A window opens up over here and same kind of thing. We can just select them for download. I think there are different ones here. Yeah, there's way more shaders. What in the world? There's a ton. I'm just going to install them all. There we go. We can make this bigger. So the ones that are set for install are bolded. It should be giving me shaders that are compatible the version that we're installing. I guess we'll find out. And when we are done, we just click review and confirm. I honestly can't believe how many shader packs there are in ModRinth. Okay, when we're done, we close that. And before we forget, we do need to install. So we click over here on the mods, download mods and search for Iris. Review and confirm. It's going to install Sodium automatically. And there we go. We can click launch from right here. Create a new world. Not a fan of this spawn. So escape, options, video settings, shader packs. And look at this, we've got so many shader packs to try out. But let's just try out one for now. I, I know Bliss is a good one. Let's try that one out. All right, and there we go. Three ways to install shaders on Minecraft 1.21. Right, let's just fly around with shaders on and check out the different ones that are available. These are the ones that were available on CurseForge directly. I did look at every single one of the 80 something shader packs that were available on ModRinth, and most of them were not great. Maybe I'll do that full montage another time.
there you go. Three ways to install shaders on Minecraft 1.21. I'll look at some of the shaders. There are dozens and dozens more that you can download and take a look at. So definitely check those out for yourself. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.